matter we've got another RV review for you today to this one little bit different because well we've done it before <laughs> but it was the very first RV review we ever did and we're not even going to link to it because we're kind of embarrassed <laughs> but it's on the channel so if you want to see it you can go digging for it yourself the truth of the matter is we've got lots to say about the coachman freedom express and so we wanted to redo it so that you guys would get all the most up-to-date information and we're way better at this now than we were at the beginning. You know, we've changed, we've grown, we're more experienced now. <laughs> so we wanted to tell you all about it. The, uh, this is gonna be the construction video and then at the end we'll link to a tour of the models for you. So you'll be able to see those too. Uh, but we're gonna talk about this construction model first. Remember everything that we're telling you, mine and Corey's opinion based on all the research that we do and the way that we use an RV. So in the description below is the RVreviews.net link that you can use too for all the unbiased manufacturer information that you're looking for in your research. So I wanna point you towards that. And then we're gonna give you all of the information on the construction of the ultralight the let me look at my notes because i write stuff down the liberty and maple which are really just a canadian or american version um, and the select and then there's a pilot that i've read about but i can't get a lot of information on that the point is they're all built the same so that's what we're going to tell you about today if i can find out more information into the future about this pilot and if they're still making it i will let you know in a future video uh, so the differences between each of those, like I said, they're all built the same, but they just have maybe differences in size or weight or uh, amenities, fanciness, not fanciness, okay? So there is the ultralight, and let me take my glasses off so I can read to you. The ultralight's dry weight seems to go from around 4142 to 7734, which interestingly enough is more in the the lightweight category versus the ultra lightweight but they are uh, classifying this one as an ultra lightweight for their purposes um, the liberty and the maple are more just a finishings level so the liberty is something you'd find in the u.s and the maple is something you'll find in canada <laughs> so that's cool for us but basically they're going to have some um, upgraded finishes and they're generally a little larger 27 feet to 37 feet um, and then there's the select and the select is just stripping things down a bit to actually remove fancy things that you don't really need or um, just maybe at not as many models or floor plans to choose from and by doing that they're able to reduce the cost of the select so that's the value you get there so depending on where you're at and what you're looking for in your trailer is is this something you're gonna spend a bunch of time in and you want all the frou-frou bells and whistles or is this something that you're taking hunting it's up to you and you can get the right rv for you as we always say also coachman freedom express does toy haulers and hybrids now those are going to be built differently only slightly but we're not including that in this video we'll make another one at some point to cover the changes there um oh as well the select uh is more the 17 foot and 231 feet but they only have five floor plans to choose from so let's get on with the construction of the freedom express line they are considered a sort of top entry level um, economy trailer so that's sort of where you'll find them in the wide range of rvs out there starting with the chassis coachman engineers and then has each chassis custom made specific to match the floor plan so that they can rearrange stuff wherever they feel they need to they completely 
e-coat the whole thing to keep it from getting rusty. So now let's go take a look at those axles. So let's take a look at these Dexter axles and they're a bit unique in that they have a, a wide stance to them. And if you look, there's quite a bit more distance between the two tires than there is on most of the trailers we look at. And the benefit to that is that it reduces sway and just gives the trailer a smoother ride. So that matters, right? Um, and then you also get aluminum wheels on these. So nice. Let's go take a look at the flooring and talk about how it's made. We're just gonna look inside this compartment here. Um, it's hard for us to show you all the different layers, but I'm going to explain them to you. We've got Darko moisture barrier that wraps around the aluminum frame floor joists that are sitting on top of the chassis, okay? Inside that is a one and a half inch thick uh, foam insulation and then there are actually two layers of Luon on top of that and then you get the Congolian flooring which is this stuff here and it's supposed to be pretty durable and pretty nice. Right, moving on from there let's go to wall construction and again I've got it all written down here for us. Um, you've got the fiberglass exterior that has the stickers on it and then behind that is the layer of Asdell and remember Asdell is that really good product that we really like because it's mold and mildew resistant so it's never going to have problems with the water um, it has an insulating factor it is lightweight and it has no formaldehyde in it so it's a greener product to use as well then on the other side of that is the aluminum frame that's used for the wall all the windows and doors are also framed out in aluminum um, and then there's one and a half inch foam insulation inside all of that. Then it goes to a layer of Luon and then whatever is on the inside for the decorative uh, wall pieces. So on the inside, steel plates are put in places that strategically in order to mount your cabinetry or anything that needs to actually be mounted to the wall just to make it more secure. All of these walls are vacuum bonded, so that's another thing that we really like. Now, the front cap and the end cap are built differently, but the slide walls are all built the same as these walls. So let's go take a look at them. So here at the slides, like I said, the walls of them are built the same as the walls of the trailer. But the other thing I wanted to talk about is underneath here, I wish I could show it to you, uh, but we can't see it now that the trailer's all put together, is this little plastic pan that sits in the floor underneath the slide. And it's there to collect any water that may drip in off of your slide. Now you do have good seals bulb here to avoid that, but in the event that water did get in, it would drip onto that pan and drain out of there without damaging your floor in any way. Now, let's go talk about the front and the end cap because they're built just a bit differently. You do get this nice fiberglass uh, front cap on here, but these are not laminated ends. So they have a wood framed uh, structure in there. They have Luon and they have fiberglass uh, insulation that is glued into place so that it can't sag or anything like that. And there's also no Asdell in the front or the ends. They uh, all have a nice glass window in the front here and this is an automotive grade glass so that's important. And then the other thing that I think is kind of cool that you can add as an option is the radiant foil uh, barrier. And when you choose that as an option, it comes from the front and it wraps all the way around the roof and down the back to just give you extra insulation. So that's nice too. I'm going to take you to the back now where we can talk about the roofing structure. Come on. So the roof on the Coachman Freedom Express is a walkable roof and you do get a ladder for that. Uh, but it's built in a bit more of a unique way in that it is an aluminum and wood combination roof. The aluminum is built in a perimeter frame around the edges and then you get uh, bowed wood trusses on 16 inch centers um, that go across. All of the openings in there for air conditioning and that kind of stuff are framed. Um, and then what else? You get a 3 8 inch decking on top of all that. Now I haven't been able to nail down exactly what that decking is. Um, 
I'm suspecting it is a Luan, but I don't know that for sure. Then you get your one piece uh, PVC that goes over top of that. There, that's called Tuflex. And so that I think has been a change in the past few years, but that's got a 15 year warranty on it. So obviously a superior product. What else can I tell you about the roof? Oh, what I also thought was unique as I was doing my research and learning is they put glue over top of that decking and then they put the PVC over top of it. And these, the glue on the Coachman Freedom Express is applied by hand or rolled out by hand. I mean, they apply it and then they roll it out versus spraying it. And the significance about that is that they really get the glue out to the very edges of the whole decking so that when they put the PVC on over top, it really is glued down on every edge. So I thought that was significant and that they're taking care to really keep the roof on there tight. So that's the roof. And then there was just another extra detail that I wanted to share with you about Coachman Freedom Express. They are what they call 100% green. And I thought, what does that mean? But what they mean is that all the materials at the plant are recycled. They don't send stuff to the landfill. So that's pretty impressive. The other thing is that they try to reduce chemical use, like using Asdel that doesn't have formaldehyde in it. Now I know they can't eliminate everything, but they're trying. So I give them kudos for that. That's the construction video for the Coachman Freedom Express. You can hit one of these links to go on a tour of one of the floor plans because we'd love to show you that too. If this video has provided you with some value and helped you make some decisions, we'd love it if you left a tip in the tip jar. Otherwise, give us a like, hit the subscribe button, and we love having you along. Thanks for watching.